Hi, it's Bob Costas. Happy to say a few words on behalf of the five new inductees to the New York State Baseball Hall of Fame. Their exploits took place in Brooklyn, in Queens, and in the Bronx, but their fame spread across America and especially into the hearts and imaginations of New York State baseball fans. Let's begin with Brooklyn's beloved Boys of Summer and one of the great gentlemen of the game, 94-year-old Carl Erskine, the pride of Anderson, Indiana. He threw two career no-hitters and in 1953 posted a record of 20 and 6 and topped it off when in Game 3 of the World Series against the Yankees at Ebbets Field, he struck out a then World Series record 14 hitters. Congratulations and welcome to the Hall, Carl Erskine. And now we honor posthumously the late, great Gil Hodges. In a lineup in the 1950s for the Dodgers that featured Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella, Carl Ferrillo and Duke Snyder, Gil Hodges was as important as any of them. Seven straight seasons, topping 100 RBIs. In 1954, just as one example, he hit 304 with 42 home runs and 130 RBIs. Multiple gold glove winner at first base, eight-time All-Star. How in the world has Cooperstown not opened its doors to Gil Hodges? We go at least partway toward correcting that injustice tonight. And we haven't even mentioned his role in the Miracle Mets of 1969 as their manager when they came out of nowhere. A team that had never finished any higher than ninth place, wins 100 games, sweeps Hank Aaron's Atlanta Braves in the LCS, and then beats the heavily favored Baltimore Orioles of Earl Weaver of Brooks and Frank Robinson in five games. So add that to Gil Hodges' resume and scratch your head again as to why Cooperstown is yet to open its doors. Part of the pitching staff for Gil Hodges' Mets in 1969, the left-handed compliment to the great right-hander Tom Seaver, Jerry Kuzman. He won 17 games in 1969, and more important, two of them in the World Series against the Orioles, including a complete game in the fifth game clincher at Shea Stadium. If you're of a certain age, or you've seen the highlights in your mind's eye, you can picture Cleon Jones dropping to a knee, catching that fly ball off the bat of Davey Johnson, who later would manage the 86 Mets to the World Championship. That was the final out, and pandemonium reigned at Shea Stadium. Beyond that season and that day in October, Jerry Kuzman won 222 career games. He was twice a 20-game winner, once for the Mets in 76, and then returning to his home state of Minnesota, he did it for the Twins in 1979. Congratulations to Jerry Kuzman. Up next, the Yankees' sweet Lou, Lou Pinella. He won the Rookie of the Year Award in 1969 as a Kansas City Royal, but his greatest exploits as a player certainly took place in pinstripe. A member of four pennant-winning teams for the Yankees, including the back-to-back -back World Series champions of 1977 and 78, and then as a manager, a more than two-decade career as a big league pilot with the Yankees, with the Reds, with the Mariners, the Rays, and the Cubs, five teams. With the Reds in 1990, he managed them to the world championship. Huge upset over Tony La Russa's Oakland A's. They not only beat them, they swept them. And with the Mariners, in 2001, the M's had a record of 116 and 46. And yet somehow, the Yankees beat them in the LCS and denied them a trip to the World Series. In fact, Lou's Mariners lost to the Yanks in the ALCS in both 2000 and 2001. Not a happy memory for him. One of the few times that fans in New York ever rooted against Lou Pinella. And Yankee fans were asking themselves in the mid-90s when the great Don Mattingly had his career cut short by injuries, who could possibly replace him at first base? Well, maybe he was irreplaceable, but his successor was Tino Martinez. And what a career he put together. Overall, yes, six 100 RBI seasons, but five of them came with the Yankees. Topped off in 1997 when he hit 44 home runs and drove in 141 runs. And Tino was part of four World Series champions for Joe Torre's Yankees. So, what a quintet. Carl Erskine, Gil Hodges, Jerry Kuzman, Lou Pinella, and Tino Martinez. Congratulations, one and all.